everybody and welcome here to a video on uh, installing MS-DOS on a um, modern computer. This isn't really the most modern but it's more of a tutorial. Um, it, it doesn't have to be a, a really modern computer but yeah um, this should work on anything really. Um, the first things that we're gonna need um, you're gonna wanna go and download Win Win Image, which is what I'm going to be using. It is shareware, so you can only use it for 30 days. Um, right here, there's the EXE. I just went through the regular setup, <laughs> and um, what you're going to need is some empty floppies. I only have two, um, but um, I'll just install the third one on, like, the first one or whatever. And you're also going to need a, uh, floppy, external floppy. Um, so that way you can put the floppies in and have the computer read it. Um, but if you already have a floppy, like, tray, then you can just go ahead and use that. Um, in my little external floppy I have... There goes that. I have this little floppy right here. They're both um, 1.44 megabytes and three and a quarter inch. Um, so let me put this back in here. And yeah, you'll need a host computer, just right here and the computer that you're going to want to install it on, which is going to be my laptop here. Um, the reason why I'm installing it on my laptop is because I had originally just Windows XP, but um, as you can see, um, it kind of died. And I was trying to reinstall XP on it, but it's having some issues. So, the n next best thing is just going to be DOS, I guess. Um, so, now, I just went through the regular install of WinImage. It's also like 5 a.m., so that's why I'm kind of out of it right now. But, yeah, WinImage, just regular setup, and we're going to go ahead and open a uh, a disk image so I'm installing MS-DOS 6.22 uh, I just found it on winworldpc.com right there um, and I went to 6.22 and I picked MS-DOS 6.22 plus enhanced tools 3.5 uh, which is a three and a quarter inch, I mean three and a half inch. Sorry, sorry, I made that mistake earlier. Uh, three and a half inch floppy. That's what I have. Um, and yeah, so we got it right here. Um, and what we're gonna do once you click file and open, um, you're gonna need like WinRAR or something to open this. And you just want to drag each disk image onto your desktop or whatever folder. I just put it on my desktop because it's easiest. And on here, went to disk 1. And I opened it. So, what we're going to need to do, sorry I'm a little shaky. What we're going to need to do is go up to disk and click format and write disk. And I'm going to click yes, and it's going to start formatting my floppy, which had whatever on it. Uh, I actually formatted it before I started recording, so there's nothing on it, but um, we're going to go ahead and do it again just for the sake of showing it on camera. And it's going to take forever, but yeah, as you can see the little hard drive light on, it's doing disk activity stuff and it's formatting it so 
I'll be right back once it's almost done with this. And we're back, we're almost done writing this. After it got past the formatting screen, once it got to 100%, it just went to this screen. So you didn't miss much in between there. Fun little thing to note down here at this little icon. The floppy started at all the way invisible and it like slowly started building its way up. Uh, that was a little cool thing. And it just finished writing. So now if we go on to our computer over here and we open up the A drive, it has all our contents in it. And it is, it automatically makes it bootable. So we'll go ahead and unplug our floppy from the host computer and we'll plug into our laptop mm. there we go now it's plugged into our laptop we will go ahead and open up the laptop and start it up. Oh, um, quickly before we actually do this. Um, you may need to go into your BIOS. And you want to set your, um... USB to boot first um, before your um, hard drive. So I have USB booting first. So we'll go ahead and escape out of this. And it's going to sit at this little screen with the cursor blinking for just a little bit and there we go starting MS DOS and it's going to sit at this screen for a little bit too and I haven't gotten past this screen yet I just kind of wanted to make sure it was working before the video started so going in kind of blind here and it starts up the MS-DOS 6.22 setup. And uh, what we're going to want to do is hit F3 and then F3. And then type F disk. And we'll open up F disk. And we will um, choose option number 3. Um, but there's no partitions apparently on this computer. Um, because I basically partitioned this computer before, before, um, I did anything. So now we'll go ahead and reboot the computer. But yeah, that, that's what you want to do is hit F3 twice and partition your, your PC before you actually, um, go into this. And again, we're going to have to sit and wait for a second for MS-DOS to start. Excuse me, sorry. And we'll go ahead and click enter. And configure um, allocated disk space. Um, one thing to note, um, if you're going to want to do this with MS-DOS 3.0 or before, um, I, I think that it doesn't support more than 512 
um, megabytes of RAM. So um, you might want to. I could be wrong there, but you might need to um, do 4.0 or later if you're gonna want to do this. So we'll go ahead and click enter, and it'll restart our PC. Again, I haven't gotten this far, so I don't really know what's beyond this point. I got this laptop free at the mall, like, in 2007, and basically trashed it with malware. And that's why it doesn't boot into XP anymore. It's because I trashed it with malware. And, uh, so I might as well use it for something else. <laughs> And it's going to format my drive here. This shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Already halfway there. Um, well, that's not the time, but I don't really care. Settings are correct. Yes, yeah, so we'll place it in the DOS folder. And it's going to go ahead and start setup. And within this setup time, um, you're going to, um, I'm pretty sure during this setup time, we have our second floppy and our third floppy that we're going to need to, um, put on. So, um, on here, when it comes time for the second floppy, Again, you file, open, and we're going to pick disk 2. And again, with disk 2, you go ahead and click r format and write disk to um, get disk 2. Once this gets to like, it's like 22% or something like that, it's going to ask for disk 2. Um... So I'll be right back when that happens. And we're back um, formatting the second um, floppy right now. Uh, right now it's writing it actually. And my computer keeps beeping at me because it wants me to insert the second set of disk. But uh, while we wait, I uh, just wanted to show you um, if you don't have a external floppy, um, there's ones on eBay, um, this one's just for $11, free shipping right there. Um, no idea what that's about, but whatever. And then there's 10 blank floppy disks for only $9, or $8 rather. So as you can see, like, it's, it's pretty cheap only eighteen dollars nineteen dollars and yeah so now to get this thing to be quiet we will enter it the second one and hopefully now it'll, it'll continue I hope that that um, boot sector is not going to um, cause any problems later. It might, but yeah. And my 
computer still beeping at me for whatever reason. No idea why. But we'll go ahead and um, pause the video and be right back. Alright, we're almost done now writing on the um, third and final disc. Um, as you can see, um, getting ready for setup disc number three. And I figured out why the thing was beeping at me. It's because my battery was low, so I plugged in my charger. Usually it doesn't beep at me, but I think it's because, um, because, um, <clears throat> we're in setup, so it doesn't want to, like, corrupt anything or whatever. So it was warning me. It was beeping, like, every ten seconds, and it was getting on my nerves. Alright, back to setup. Again, it gave me that uh, sector error, and I'm not 100% sure why. But yeah, that setup is going by pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and jump to when this is at about 80, 80%. And we're almost done with setup. 97% complete. 99. Just one more percent. And I think it might ask me for disc one again, but I'm not 100% sure. Move all discs. So I'll go ahead and move that. MS DOS 6.22 is now installed on your computer. To restart your computer with MS-DOS 6.22, press enter. To learn more about it, we don't really care. So we'll go ahead and restart our computer here. And hopefully it'll boot into DOS. Hey, there we go. And we got all our standard stuff here. All our regular files. We'll go ahead and show you all the files here. There they all are. Standard DOS 6.22 files. All right there. So uh, that's how you install MS DOS on a uh, modern computer. Even though this isn't really modern, but yep. So there you go.